Hello, welcome back to my channel. So the other day I made a quick little short video uh, when I realized that I could connect my Wi-Fi bridge to my laptop directly so I can do wireless scanning with the Creality Ferret Pro scanner setup rather than having to tie it to the laptop using the USB cable or by going through my phone. See, I used to have to have the camera connected to this little bracket onto my rotary rig and then the program would make it go, you know, one turn clockwise, pause, one turn counterclockwise, and that's how I would have to make the scan. But now since I can wirelessly go to the laptop, which is something which, by the way, is something I've been asking for for like a year. You know, as soon as they came out with the Wi-Fi bridge, I'm like, well, when, you know, when are we going to be able to just do it straight to the laptop? Because, you know, the phone software is okay, but the laptop software is so much better. So, what would I use this for? Well, of course, for the initial capture, uh, you know, when you're trying to generate like a socket or just a scan of the residual limb, but more so, like with this one, the spacing of where the forearm cuff isn't really quite right. It really needs to be shifted. Let's see. Uh, I need the forearm cuff to be shifted forward by about quarter inch, three eighths of an inch. It it spaces my fingers a little bit too far off the metacarpal bases. Um, you know, ultimately, for the design to really fit like it should, you really want the metacarpal bases to be right up into that void space. Uh, of the metacarpal bases and then that makes everything rotate as it should and then that also improves the uh, the key grip capture on the medial of the index finger with the thumb so but what this allows me to do is I take this wrist piece off and I'm able to well I'll just show you so, I have it connected up with the Wi-Fi bridge right now. And I can just go, we'll go start new project. We'll go E and scan. Okay. We go down here and scan. Adjust this back down to where it should be. Actually, we'll, we'll rotate this around to where we're on the palm side of things first. Wait for it to kind of initialize, actually. Let me get out of... Let me get a little... There we go. There we go. Okay, so we're going to press start. Okay, and you see how it's starting to capture points and frames. Okay, so once it stops capturing, then what I do is I just turn this on, and it automatically rotates the scanner around my residual limb. And what that does at this speed it doesn't get lost, it continues tracks. Um, I don't get any weirdness on the scan. So I just wait for it to go all the way around. Um, of course, being wireless, uh, it is a little bit, you have to run this a little bit slower than if you were doing a wired capture, you know, doing it with the USB 3. But just the fact that it doesn't have to pause go back the other direction and then back and forth and back and forth uh, this is such an awesome I guess new feature so and you can see I mean it does a great job on the capture so we'll call just for this video, we'll call that there. I'll go ahead and get the end of my residual limb. And then we'll call it good. 
and then we'll go stop, complete scan, yes, and then we'll do one click, leave it as the default. Um, so the other day I was able to, with, with the forearm cuff off of this piece, I was able to scan my forearm with this in its correct position and then just do my normal three millimeter offset. But I scanned it with the gimbal two bracket on there. It's where the gimbal two bracket just fits into the print. And um, yeah, I was just able just to, to print it up. Uh, next time I'm gonna print it with some different supports. Uh, being that this is ABS, it spread a little bit. So I think next time I'll either you know, do it with this with this face down on the build platform, and then I'll have layer lines oriented this way rather than this way. Um, you know, just something new I'm trying out. Um, I thought you guys would enjoy seeing why it was such, you know, why it was such a neat thing to figure out that I could do the scanning directly to my laptop as opposed to you know having to run it through my phone or or running it through a wired connection um let me know what you in the comment section thanks for watching wow. And the other one. Okay, come on. Recent he recently he got eaten by something, so he is not allowed outside for a bit. He got himself a hole in his shoulder. He has been stuck in the house for a week now.